suppose I always had music uh, as part. My parents weren't musicians, but there was always music in the family. From playing guitar, learning songs, I started to sing, and then my singing became more of the main instrument, and my guitar playing was accompanying myself um, as I sang songs, and then I started to write songs, and from writing songs I was able to express the different emotions, different feelings that I had as a, as a, through my teenage years, and it was a great a channel for channeling my emotions, a great release, you know. There's something very, very special about being able to perform a song of your own and then to have people uh, sometimes singing the lyrics back to you. It's, it's something very, very powerful, you know. I was born into a family who loved music. Um, not that my parents played, but they really encouraged music. My older brother played violin and piano and I always looked up to him. So I started playing violin and piano when I was about five years old. I ended up doing something completely different. I did, uh, went into primary school teaching because that was another area that I loved. But uh, while I was studying, I got all these jobs teaching violin and that kind of led me down a path and I went back into the Masters of Music. Originally I started playing drums, drums when I was five or six and uh, they're my main instrument and I play guitar and I'm a songwriter as well and I started that when I was about 12 or 13 but then when I got to university it kind of got more serious and I was able to pay my way through stuff and kind of started to realise that this was a, maybe a career option even though I was studying design at the time. It was only really after I had my own children that I realised how important music is for early development and I suppose that was what led me into looking into and um, what was the, the kinder music program which is what I studied and became qualified to teach and from there I developed my own teaching practice. I drifted into teaching music, I started off around uh, 2005 teaching one person then two people and went door to door and just through word of mouth. And I was teaching in one school and then they, 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 they did a, a pilot scheme for music generation in South Dublin and I was working in that school and they asked me to do it. I'm originally from Latvia where music learning system is completely different. You go to uh, after school, music school, and uh, generally it's just uh, classical music learning and uh, you go there for seven, eight years. When I graduated from university I started traveling and I met some people who played traditional Swedish music and traditional Irish music. So I ended up staying in Ireland, which I live in Mayo now, and uh, got involved with Music Generation seven years ago. I started learning the button accordion locally in County Mayo when I was about eight years of age. I've been fortunate enough to have very good music teachers all along who actually would have gotten me into group playing and stuff. And even going back before that I was involved with, would say, the local school marching band and stuff. And it's just from that, from a very young age, from about eight years of old, I was able to experience kind of the power that music has to bring people together. The benefits for me is to be involved in my own area doing something that before this I was working outside of that area for many years so it's definitely a benefit having music generation in, in Loud and specifically in Dock where I'm based I suppose. I think being involved in the team itself and uh, your colleagues I think that's huge. It's, it's one of the first times I've felt that camaraderie and being able to share skills and knowledge um, to that level, I think that's, that's fantastic. Great community to be part of and you can call, like I've called upon people like can you dep in for a gig here or can you record something for me on this and um, it's just great to work with people in a similar mindset that are passionate about the same thing. The kids give you a zest for music that it's hard, it's when you're an adult and you've been in it for a long time you can kind of get a bit bogged down but the kids, their, their love for it um, kind of gives it back to you a little bit. You, they get that, their, that look in their eye um, that like something magic has just happened that they couldn't do before. Wanted to be involved in an organisation that really was child focused. So, you know, it wasn't about their beliefs or their plans or their structure. It was all about what the child needed and what the child wanted and what was beneficial for the child. That's what I really like about Music Generation. I love their enthusiasm, you know, towards playing guitar or whatever instrument they're playing. They seem to, to not have any reservations. They don't seem to have, to have self-conscious, like, whereas I probably would have more self-consciousness as an adult. They would be they would just let go and, and go for the music and perform. I once had a child ask me in a class, could I play any Slayer on recorder? So you get really random questions like that sometimes, but just the fact that they're thinking like that, could they play something like that on recorder means, well at least they're obviously enjoying what they're doing. That's what it's all about.
that I find anyway. And you know, as long as the children are enjoying it and hopefully enjoying it and having a bit of fun, it's a success. I've seen them flourish as people, as performers, as communicators, as listeners, as just as people as a whole uh, through music and through various music educational processes. Hopefully set a good groundwork for their futures and for them to enjoy for the rest of their lives.